Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So I have lots of things from various different places, mainly Goodwill, but I, uh, I'm gonna start off with my favorite thing. So these things are to resell on Poshmark and eBay. So yeah, all right, this next thing is a brand I thought I'd never even touch. So I have a really good friend on Instagram named Morgan, and we talk a lot about their own stuff, and she has like a lot of the same views on reselling as I do. So one of them being the AG ex-boyfriend jeans sell, and she gets that and I get that. So anyways, but so she like messaged me, someone messaged her and was like, hey, I have like a whole like space of stuff with like clothes because the person knew that she resold or whatever. And she's like, oh, like, look at the text I just got. And I'm like, you definitely need to go and just see what's there. So I guess it was a guy giving it all away. Apparently, like what she told me was that the girl, like, I guess he was married or so there was somebody like there was like a woman. She took all his money and then ran off to Thailand and then like left like a lot of her stuff behind. Um, and she was definitely a shopaholic. Uh, I'm going to pop up a pic the picture that she sent me of like the actual attic and some pictures. I'll get her like permission first to do that. But um, yeah, so she texts me and she's like, okay, that was like crazy. I know she got some stuff at the Bicycle Trade store, but it was like all free except like her time going there and stuff. So she got, yeah. And she's like, I found, I found, she's like, there's a lot of like fake designer stuff there, like Louis Vuitton, like Gucci track suits that were fake but she's like i found 15 self-portrait dresses i think some of them are fake but i think some of them are real and i and i was like just kind of joking i was like oh haha ha, like send you one and she's like well if they're real i'll send you one so some of them ended up being fake but then some of them ended up being real and then she she messaged me and she was like okay i just made a listing for you to go buy one on poshmark so she listed it for three dollars and then i obviously bought it like, and I'm so, I cannot believe it. Like, I, I was, like, straight up joking, but the fact that she sent me one is, I mean, absolutely, like, I cannot believe it. Like, I really can't. So, self-portrait, this is definitely a Bolo brand. This is sometimes faked. So, self-portrait, this is a size 4, but I'm pretty sure this brand does run small. But this is just, uh, well, first of all, the straps are branded, which, I mean, is it, I mean, a fake probably could do that but i mean it's obviously a better sign of quality um and then so it's like spaghetti straps with lace um underlay and then yeah and then it has pockets and then it's a midi but the lining only goes a certain way so then the rest is like a peekaboo style so it's midi yeah like such a good style like such a good wedding um guest dress or like a cruise travel vacation or just like a spring dress for like easter or anything like that uh so this care tag says self-portrait and okay the newer pieces of self-portrait have like a black uh i want to say like satiny tag and this is not a black self satiny tag and it does like i would um and she's like oh the, this the self-portrait really isn't centered but when you look up a style, she gave me the style name as well, so I will pop open stock photos. I mean, she literally made me do no work for this dress. I literally, um, yeah, she gave me the style name, everything like that, the comps. I was like, so all I have to do is photograph it, measure it, list it, and then ship it when it sells. But yeah, so, but for this style on this dress, uh, none of the, this is like, I think that's, I'm like, I'm having a hard time explaining this because I'm like not the most familiar with the brand, but what from what she told me when she was authenticating them is that this particular style had um, on the soles on Poshmark, every single one of them had the same exact tag. So she was confident that this one is authentic and she does find higher end brands. So I, I know I can trust her on that and I know I can trust her as well. So, um, but I'm expecting to list that around the $250 mark, which is I mean, absolutely like insane. That is, that is wild. Okay. So thank you again, Morgan. I have her Poshmark and Instagram linked down below as well, if I didn't already say that. So um, she is like the f stuff she finds is like amazing. She lives in California. So yeah, I, I want to. OK, so after the closing, mentor 90 percent off sale, Plato's Closet had their uh, 
athletic Lululemon drop on the same exact day. So my sister went to that. She was kind of disappointed because my mom went to the closed mentor sale with me. And she thinks she could have got... She We did a lot better at the athletic drop last time. But I got this pink tank for my sister, our older sister. Obviously, she can't try it on. And what I did was I was trying to, like, FaceTime certain people. Because the prices are a little bit higher than I would pay to resell. So I was trying to FaceTime certain people. And I was, like, just to see if they would want stuff or not. And um, then after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get whatever I can resell and can make a profit on. And then if they want them, then they can pay me the money that... I paid for it and then it's fine so this um i would definitely not pay this price to resell um first of all our pillow's closet has the the prices on the lemon are way cheaper compared to other pillow's closets i mean it's not even close so this is like a cropped like meshy like tank and this was 12 dollars lululemon so it's like a mave color so this is definitely modern style but 12 dollars. i had a 20 percent off coupon so the prices I'm sharing are 20% off. So I could sell that. Nobody wanted that. So I'm going to sell that for probably 25 30 All right. This, okay. This is, I take this from my own personal closet. So again, a lot of this stuff is from like a month ago that I just haven't hauled yet because I've been a little bit busy. But um, this is Patagonia, size men's small. New, or um, has a real tag on it. I bought this from the real like a year and a half ago. I never wore it. I, the, just, I'm not like a huge fan of stripes. I like the color brown like the brown like matches my eyes kind of so like i don't think i look bad in brown but i just really don't like stripes this is the better sweater I definitely would pay up for this i think i paid 25 dollars for that i'm hoping to make my money back on that but again patagonia has not sold like it usually does for me all right it hasn't sold, sold as well all right these are a pair of men's lululemon shorts these are like the commission shorts i believe so they're good khaki color they were $14 20% off of that as well so I did pay up for these but I've sold these uh, a good amount of times so, uh, size 34 is my best selling men's waist size so these should sell quick especially with the season coming up for those so I was with that all right this one I thought my sister was gonna keep um and she originally thought she was and then she decided no I think I don't know but it's Lululemon size four and it's just a green vest. I love this color green. It's so nice. There's a the logo. They had this priced at $25. And, um, oh, I just had a full price sale for $85 on the Patagonia jumpsuit. That's cool. Okay, sorry. Um, so I paid $20 for this. But for a Lululemon outerwear piece, especially a vest, like that is a steal of a deal. I can probably list this close to the $100 mark. I'm not even joking. Um, and this is uh, goose down filling. So easy easy pick up for twenty dollars for me so i didn't even look up comps because i just knew these sell pretty well for me they are lululemon again size four and they are just the on the fly pant and the gray space dye which is a good classic color these were twenty dollars but again i got these i don't think i would have paid that price to resell um 20 percent off so they've been 16 i believe i don't i want to have paid 60 dollars to resell but i could probably get 50 to 65 for those probably closer to 50 and this is a green uh scuba full zip the scuba full zips don't do that well for me but i mean it's not that they don't they actually do well for me but the like oversized funnel neck scubas are do better the full length full zip ones don't do as well but they still perform well um it has like the this is an emergency hair tie and then um they had this priced at 18 dollars, which is like other players closets would have priced this at 50 dollars. so yeah um, this is a size six, I believe, as well. But the these are a little bit more form fitting, so a size six. Okay, um, we're just gonna get into stuff. The next, all this stuff is at Goodwill. This haul is literally this first haul I'm gonna show you is from literally a month ago. So, um, this is a I've only found this brand once and it did really well, but I don't know how these. It was a pair of pants. It was the Foster pants. This is Emma Lafleur, size large. So, I don't find this brand often. I heard the resale has gone down on it, but this is outside large, and I think it's like a linen blend. 67% linen, 31% viscose, 2% elastane. So, I just thought that, like, feels to be in excellent condition. So, they, I think this was priced as, like, a t-shirt. So, I think I paid, like, $2 and change for that. So, that was such an easy pickup. 
right, this is one of my favorite brands. Um, not only to resell, but I just think the quality on their pieces is just like exceptional. Um, this is Faherty, size large. Yeah, I yeah, this is just a men's shirt, but I still need to get it even though I don't like to photograph them. It just has minor wash wear, but I could probably still get thirty to thirty five for that. All right, I almost left these. I just was kind of like, eh, but they're Patagonia, size women's eight, and they're just like ski pants. Um. If there's a Patagonia logo. Right, I just sold the Patagonia literally while filming this video for eighty five dollars, but that was new tags. But you know what? Um, they have like the like they have like the zipper that goes all the way around. So these are definitely like older, but you know Patagonia does last. It is a good quality brand. Um, I like Patagonia. But, uh, let me see when it's from. Fall of 2005. These pants are older than I am. Wow. Okay, that's cool. All right. Then I saw... I went to the men's section. To the, the men's jackets. And I saw this. And I saw, like, this, um... Like, neckline. And I was like, oh, I know what that is. So, then I touched and I'm like, yeah, that's it. It's a Lululemon hoodie. So, I, I thought this was going to be men's at first. But when I went to like the size pocket, size women's 12, which I hardly ever find size 12 Lululemon. So I was so excited about that. So then I was like, okay, I want to see if I can find any more um, Lululemon. And I did. This one was crazy. I don't think this was from the same person. So I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a Lululemon Swiftly Tech. I hardly ever find these. And every time they're my like uh, sister's or mom's size, they always keep them like every single time. Um, so I was like, yay, Swiftly Tech. There's the thumb holes. And at this time, here's the logo. I was like, oh my gosh. So they had it marked as a size small and it, they had it priced at $3.26. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a steal. Pink was a half off color. So this, not only did it, I don't know why nobody bought this. I looked it over, checked it over, no holes, no stains. That was insane. I'm like, how do you, and Lululemon, people know Lululemon in my area. So I don't know what happened. Sometimes if somebody buys something and returns it, they just put it straight on the floor. They don't re-tag it. So maybe somebody returned it, but like, where well, I don't know. It's also size 10. So that is fantastic. I'll probably list this at $50. Swifties sell so well for me. Like that is one thing from Lululemon that, that just consistently sells well. All right. This I got for me. It's a Vineyard Vine size so small. I just love this piece. And it's like a textured knit pullover half zip jacket sweater that's color green the texture the style i just had like vineyard vines is such good quality and this is definitely so new like this is like definitely a new piece like it has to be yeah 0822 so definitely a newer piece yeah i like that was the easiest pickup of my life like that was so nice okay i got this Okay, I've like, um, okay, this is Nation LTD, size small, and it's like the puff sleeve, like top. This I could probably list for $40, which is absolutely insane. I checked comps, yeah. So when I went thrifting in Springfield, Illinois, I was running short on time, and I found a new tags Nation LTD top, just like that, and it was five ninety nine, and I was like, oh, I don't think I want to pay that for a top. Well, when I was editing the video, I checked comps, and they were, like, 50 to $60, and I was like, are you kidding me? So, I, I should have got that when I didn't, but now I know. Not all Nation LTD does well. I've sold some stuff for, like, $14, but this is, like, their newer tag, so I would look up for this tag, and Nation LTD is very easy to look up, because it does have uh, the style number right there. This is from summer of 23, so not even a year old. So, I could, yeah, again, could probably get a good amount for that. All right, and then we have a basic smart wool, size medium, women's athletic jacket. I don't think this had any stain or holes in it. Um, if it does, it does not matter. It will still sell. So uh, smart wool is one of those brands, unless I'm like paying up for it, I don't really check the condition. I just kind of, when it's like one of these base layer tops and it's like four ninety nine, it just goes into the car. And then when I'm listing it, I just see what's ever, what's ever wrong with it. Because every time I've sold it with holes, stains, whatever, it always sells. All right, this is my most exciting find from that store. I was excited a lot about that stuff there, but I was just so, I could not believe this. So 
Lululemon size 6, and this is a, like, women's mint green textured crew neck sweatshirt. And I'm like, wow, that tag is pristine. Um, it was $5.44. $5.44. So when I'm putting it into the cart, I see this little tag, new with tags, Lululemon, $5.44. Yeah, it was on sale for sixty nine dollars. Uh, it was ninety eight dollars. So this is a Goodwill. They hardly mark up anything. Um, like at all. Oh, there's a the logo as well. So they hardly mark up anything like at all. And then twenty minutes down the street, or not twenty minutes, thirty five minutes down the street, they mark up Lululemon. Um, they're marking it like up bad now. And I was like, that would have been twenty five dollars at uh, the Goodwill five minutes down the street. So then I go to that Goodwill down the street, and I find this, uh, the, the same exact, or, like, two days after, two days after, I found this, I thought it says extra large sports bra, new with tags. My sister found this one, actually, and she said it was $3.26. She went to, I did not find this one. She went after school, so I got, I was like, she's like, do you want that? I was like, yeah. All right, then I went to that store. I found these AMO jeans. I've never found this brand before. And these were $7.88. And they are just a um, skinny jean with this dressing. So I look these up and they have like this twisted-ish hem. And this is actually a popular style by them. It's called the High Rise Twist and the Washes Lover Boy. So they had some other, they had like a High Rise Twist straight leg, but the High Rise Twist were performing pretty well. Um, it has like pockets on the or, uh, printed pockets and then it has the style name so these are a size 27 it's a decent size um yeah so i could probably list these for 50 dollars, but not everything from the sprint as well but some can sell for a hundred dollars so very mixed comps on those and the next thing i found the second thing i found for these uh dealing 61 which is a brand i don't pick up very often but these were size 29 and they are a high rise dark wash flare so that was a pretty easy pickup for seven dollars and 88 cents so i grabbed those so then i'm checking out and behind the counter i see like a lululemon power wide tank top for twenty dollars it was new with tags um it was a size four it was from like 2013 and they had it for twenty dollars so i'm gonna take the new with tag i mean i've only found new with tag Lul actually i find it i found new with tag lululemon every time i go to chicago um in my area that was my first time finding it was that crew neck wait no no i found it at the same this st same store before it was like a white rash guard and then i found uh this and then i found that lululemon tank top that was too expensive to purchase because it was twenty dollars but had that been like six dollars i probably would have got it but yeah so i would have taken the crew neck over the tank top i wish i could have both but you know what you have you just have to deal with thrift store prices one time sometimes you have to deal with them okay i hear my shoes back from the cobbler okay a fair warning i have worn these so uh basically part of the reason i've been so busy is so our school has this thing called like the prom fashion show which is really not a fashion show it's just basically like a whole bunch of like skits and dances like put together and you perform it in front of the school and there's like 70 people from our grade doing it and i was one of them so yeah, so I wore these to, or I wore these during that performance, I guess. Um, so I repainted the soles. They looked, they looked great. I don't have a before and after picture. Um, yeah, I did the repainting of the soles myself. I think I did a great job. Um, obviously they're worn again. The stage is black, and I need to sand them down again and repaint them. Look at the glitter at the bottom. Like so, yeah, I did wore wore these, and the cobbler did make them black. I paid, uh, I paid seventy five. I. $70, so $65 to re-dye them. I just probably could have done it. I just did not trust myself. So I went ahead and paid that. So during the performance, I uh, the toes got a little bit scuffed, which is fine. Hopefully I can polish them. I need to order shoe polish. If not, I'm going to see what the cobbler says. Um, but I don't. I forgot to take a before and after or I have a before and after picture of this, or I have like a before and during picture of the soles, which I'll put, but I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I will say they're not like the most comfortable shoes, but you know what, that's all right. Um, I thought they did a really good job painting in between like the zipper details. Um, I will say the, I paid five dollars for the laces and they look like navy, but that's fine, whatever. Um, 
but I got so many compliments on them. People were like, oh my gosh, are those Louboutins? And I was like, yeah. And then there was like one outfit I was kind of concerned about wearing. And then somebody was like, you know what? You're wearing Louboutins. You look fine. I was like, you know what? So true. So I love those. Now I can't wait. I need to fix them up and I need to get them ready for prom in about a month. So yeah. So let me know what you think. Do they look better in that brown color or black? I want to know your honest opinion. Okay. Then my mom, I was actually coming back from practice from that show because um, we had practices before the actual performance. And uh, my mom was like, hey, right, good. Well, there's some stuff. So I think you should just come and see if you want it or not. And then I was like, okay. So she found this smart wool size, extra small women's skort. Uh, this is like polyester, but the lining is merino wool. So I think that's why it's like... Smart wool is known for the merino wool. And unfortunately, they cut the material and uh, style tag out, but that's fine. Whatever. And she found three pairs of men's Peter Millar shorts in a size 34. Um, since it was spring and summer, like, is coming, I thought I'd stock up and get some shorts. It's okay. So, um, I would say their shorts aren't my best selling thing in Peter Millar, but that's all right. I say they're, they're outerwear, obviously, like most brands. And then their summer golf, uh, co summer comfort golf polos. So I found three pairs. My mom found three pairs and then speak more. I hope I can get, you know, 25 to 30 ish for those. All right, this was really exciting. I found this in the uh, long sleeve tops. So it's like this silky like robe. And there was kind of a gap between the racks and I saw it. I was so excited. This is a brand Lanya size extra small small. And they have like this like little tab is kind of like their logo on their pieces. So this was marked as pajamas for four eighty nine, yeah. But it was in the top, so I'm, my guess is like a worker put it back in the wrong place, or somebody decided they didn't want it, which is so exciting to me. I will probably list this around the hundred dollar mark. Lonia is such a good like brand. It's so good. Like it's like I found it. Uh, okay, so I found it like two years ago. And I knew what it was. I was like, oh, great, Lanya. I found two pairs of sleep shorts. They sold for like 80 or one of them sold for $80. One of them for, sold for $60, both on eBay. And they got so much attention. And, but I was, as I was such in a rush like that, I grabbed the Lanya shorts. I leave and I was going to plan on going back. And another reseller came and then she posted on her Instagram. She's like, oh, I, this brand's new to me. Have you found it? And it was two Lanya shirts that literally matched the shorts I had. I was like, are you, I was, I was, I was mad. Just, I mean, there was nothing I could have done because I had to um, leave, but that's okay. So then I was like, okay, Lanya, I need to look for anything else. So I made my mom, like, look in the pajama section and, like, the women's, like, intimates because I'm just not going to do that. So, um, and I trust her enough to do that. It's silk. There's that. And, yeah, so if you find Lanya, like, pick it up because it sells so well. Um, and I find no more Lanya, which was sad, but that's all right. All right, she found these Lululemon. Okay, these are crop leggings, which I have been staying away from, but they're a nice, solid color. I would try to stay away from, like, the prints of crop lululemon leggings for sure in the older styles, but this is a newer style of the crop leggings, which definitely sell better. There's also a size 8. Had these been a size 4, I think I would have left them, but they're, like, the run and spare crop, maybe. Size 8. I could probably get $30 for those. This was inside out, but she found this one. This is a lululemon. Uh so this is that men's hexagon logo, which is the very first logo that Lululemon produced. So this is from probably 2013, and it's just like the metal Ventec. So if this was my size, I'd keep it. It is a size medium. Um, I have one of the metal Ventec. So I do not pick up men's Lululemon uh, shirts with the hexagon logo because people think they're fake, even though they're not. They're just old. So And they only sell for like $25 to $30 anyway. So I would just, I like to just like leave them behind. Especially if they have a hexagon logo because people just think they're fake, even though they're not. Personally, I don't care, but um, I have a shirt with a hexagon logo on it, and I don't really care. Um, but Poshbrook Shop and eBay Shoppers, for no reason, I've got comments saying, like, this Lululemon is fake, even though it's quite literally not. Uh, and I've listed, like, out of two out of three hexagon items that I've ever listed um, that have a hexagon logo, somebody's commented saying it was fake. And it's literally not, so I don't, it's just old, so... Right, then I was pretty excited about this. This is a, um, keep in mind, I'm at the store that marks up Lululemon and they missed all of these. They only really get it if it has like the Lululemon pull tag, which none of these did. So honestly, at this point, I'm just hoping stuff that does not have a pull tag, which is crazy because 
usually would want stuff to have a pull tag, but not anymore. Um, this is Lululemon. This is sweatshirt. I touched it. I saw it. Touched it. I'm like, that's Lulu. It's kind of like a hooded top. This was five dollars and forty four cents. Probably like a size eight. So probably thirty five forty for that one. All right, this was pretty exciting. I feel like a lot of this stuff was from like the same lady that I'm, I'm about to show you. The Lunya, this, and the next two things we're gonna show, or maybe just the next one of the next things. This is the brand Bash, I think B and S H. So I found this once in Little Rock, Arkansas. It quickly sold for thirty dollars. This brand is very expensive. This is a size extra small, and it's like this really nice printed blouse. Um, has like little like kind of a puff sleeve detail at the shoulder at least. So this probably retail for like close to $150, $200. There's the care tag. Um, this is, and they have also the style name, names on it. So this is the, uh, this is a size two because they have, or extra small. They have a size conversion on their chart, which is so nice. But they have, yeah, it says, it has a style name on the lady shirt. And then if you flip it up, it gives you like what pattern it is. So this is Rose. So I also found that when I found mine, mine the one I found was a size 10 and it was it was also the lady shirt in a different pattern. This is viscose, but my other one was silk and it was a size 10, but it quickly sold for $30. I wanna see how this one does. So yeah, Little Rock was like, don't sleep on Little Rock because Little Rock had some good stuff at the Goodwills, but, um, but so do my Goodwills. So this was my second time finding the brand. So I was pretty happy to find that. And that was my third time finding Lunya. All right, this, I almost, I, I don't know. So obviously the brand is like good. So you guys will be like, wow, like, okay. So I can't remember what, I think it's like the brand Sadie and Sage. I always like see Sadie and Sage tech. I'm like, oh, is this the tech for this brand? So I saw Love and I was like, oh, and then it says Johnny Was. So Johnny Was size medium. And this is just like a cami tank top. I was looking at the tank tops because my mom was doing something and I just happened to stumble across this and I was like, okay, cool. I like, when I first started reselling, I looked in the tank tops like every time I went thrifting because I was like, I mean, I still obviously like to find Lululemon, but I was like, I would pick up any Lululemon that I saw that is like no longer the case. I like pretty much hardly pick up the tank tops unless they're like newer styles, but the ones from like older years, I like pretty much stay away from. So, uh, yeah, but I, I just had some time. I already looked through all the tops. I'm like, okay, I might as well try like the small size medium tops because I was finding good stuff in those sizes. So I found, love Johnny was, size medium. And this is just like a cami tank top. So something I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't have any embroidery, what Johnny was is known for. This kind of, I feel like maybe is that lattice or like detail on the neckline. I feel like it's a little bit dated. Um, yeah, so... And the comps weren't great. I can probably get 25 30 for this. Um, it's rayon and silk. Um, and it was four eighty nine. But that's alright. I don't find Johnny Was that often. The last two times I found it, it's been new with tags, but this one is pre owned, but that's alright. Um and the worst case scenario, the Bites of Trade store, especially I would probably take it to the Springfield Close Mentor because um the one in my area, even though they're priced by the same person, they priced Johnny Was lower than the one in Springfield, which is kind of odd, but that's all right. Uh, so they, the one in Springfield probably priced at $35, so I'd probably get like around 10-ish, and the one here would probably price it at like 18, and I'd get like four, so. All right, this is my last find, and there's actually a good story to this. So I've only found this brand once. This is called The Great, size one, which is a small, and it's like this amazing, like a bandana printed blue sweatshirt, and I was so excited. I was like, this style, this brand, I was like, yes, this is a great brand, literally. So, um, I think I made that joke the last time I found it, so it's probably not that funny, but that's all right. And I was like, heck yeah. So I got home and my mom's like looking at the stuff and she's like, oh, there's literally a slit on the wrist. And I was like, are you kidding me? Cause I, it like feels like it was like not worn much. It looks like there's, like, no stains, anything like that. So, it was like, are you kidding me? So, 
I was talking to, like, I was showing her, I was showing Morgan, the person that sent me the self-portrait dress, like, some things I found. And I was like, yeah, like, I found, like, the great sweatshirt. And she, like, loves this brand. I promised her if I find, there's one sweater from the great um, called the Lodge Cardigan. If I find the Lodge Cardigan, she gets it. Like, she gets the Lodge Cardigan. And so uh, there's a store, like, the great a great store near here, near her. And yeah, I was showing her stuff, and then I was like, ugh, I literally, like, missed the flaw on this. Like, I'm kind of mad at myself. Like, whatever. Because if I saw this, I feel like I would have passed on it, probably. Uh, slit on the wrist. And she's like, oh, like, I think I heard somebody talking about how, like, great sweatshirts. This is called a college um, crew neck sweatshirt. And she's like, oh, I feel like somebody said that though that was, like, an intentional, like, distressing from the factory. And I was like... Like, look at that. That does not look intentional to me. I, I was like, I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, that looks really odd. So I was like, you know what? I was like, I don't know. I'll just look up. A, or I already looked up a style on mine, but I didn't see nobody. No, none of the styles that sold had like the slit on the wrist. So I looked on the great website and it was like signature slit at left cuff for they don't have this print sold right now. But for the same exact sweatshirt, I'm like, okay, this is a left cuffed and a slit. So I was like, okay. And I looked at, and then I looked at like the descriptions of the ones that had sold in this print. And it says signature slit and ref left cuff. So for whatever reason, this is manufactured slit only in this cuff. I don't know why they did that, but that makes me so happy. Like the one time that missing a flaw actually worked out in my favor. I, yeah. So if you find a great sweatshirt and it has a slit and the wrist cuff, get it or i mean make sure it's supposed to be like that i don't know i don't know why they would do that but you know what i'm not about to complain either um 100 cotton and yeah this is from 22 spring i believe so so excited i was so excited about that one so yeah so morgan really clutched up she got me this self-portrait dress and then she told me that this thing was actually not flawed now it'll like list it at like $25, but now I can list it at like $75.80. So that is a big difference. So um let me know your favorite piece. Mine would probably be the Luma Cr Crew neck. Obviously, like the Vineyard Vine shirt for myself. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty much happy with only th everything that I found. The only things I probably wouldn't pick up, like I probably could have done without, or maybe the Patagonia like pants. Uh I probably could have done without the Peter Millar. Shorts. Oh, I forgot to say, I got this because it was for my sister's boyfriend. Or worst case scenario, I can um, wear it as a sleep shirt because it is a size bigger. But I like my sleep shirts to be a bit more like relaxed. So, um, and I could have done with like maybe yeah the Peter Millar shorts. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with everything I got. Um, I got like obviously some of the brands I like, some of the brands I don't find often. So yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of nice pieces for spring that I'm pretty excited about. So um, it's great to see you guys. I know I haven't uploaded as much. In the past couple you know the last like month or two but uh i'm gonna try to upload as much as i can obviously but i'll be pretty busy until like i graduate at the beginning of may so it's crazy to even think that but or even say that i'm graduating but yeah so we'll see what happens but um i will obviously upload a video was in between that time but yeah so thank you guys so much for being patient and for watching this video eliminate your favorite piece but i think mine is a great sweatshirt just because i like the colors and the print and there's a good story to that but i mean that out of the pieces i thrifted but i think obviously the self-portrait dress would be my favorite piece of everything i showed you today so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video